How's it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with a recap of the SEC Championship game. It's not officially over, but there's as of right now, there's like a minute left, and it is uh, it's over. Auburn wins 59 to 42, bearing any type of crazy uh, last-minute scoring or anything like that. But yeah, this was an absolute insane game, and I had to come on here and make a recap. I'm probably gonna make a recap of the Big Ten Championship game. And maybe the ACC championship game, uh, depending on what exactly happens in the game. But yeah, as you can tell from the score, this was an absolute offensive game, uh, more than anybody expected. Yeah, the two teams had good offenses coming in, but nobody expected this. Uh, what's that? 101 points combined. That's uh, that's crazy. Both teams had um, had their good moments. Others had their their bad moments. Like Auburn, I mean. It seems like did they did Auburn punt at all? I think they did, but uh, Stephen Clark uh, just remembered Stephen Clark had some awesome punts. He had so uh, he he downed Missouri in, inside their their ten a ton of times, but seemed like for the most part either Auburn scored a touchdown or fumbled. That's what it seemed like, and it was my God, Missouri could not stop them all day. You thought Alabama couldn't stop Auburn? Look at Missouri, and if I'm Florida State or Ohio State, I don't care what you say. I would be totally scared to play this Auburn team right now. Nobody, looks like nobody can stop them. I mean, Missouri had a pretty good defense coming into this game. I believe they they, they hadn't gave up over 200 yards rushing per game all season. They gave up 550 yards this game. I'm not sure. This, the official stats right now are saying uh, 546 yards on 72 attempts. And Nick Marshall also had 130 yards uh, passing but that's 678 total yards of offense man that was absolutely insane Trey Mason had the game of his lifetime that game might have propelled him into the New York into New York to be a Heisman finalist depending on what happens I think if James Winston and Florida State loses tonight I really think Trey Mason might have won the Heisman tonight that that was an absolute crazy game from him um uh, ends up 45 carries, 303 yards, four touchdowns, and also Cameron's artist, artist Payne had a couple crazy uh, carries for touchdowns. Uh, the game just went final, by the way. Um, let me switch that real quick. Um, Nick Marshall had 101 yards on the ground uh, with a touchdown. Corey Grant also had a touchdown, but uh, you got to give it to Missouri. I mean, Missouri played absolute horrible in the SEC last season. So Goblin, but I think I think people. If you had to say before the season, if you had to pick at least one of these teams to make the SEC championship game, or at least to win the SEC, Missouri would have been more, uh, less likely than Auburn. But absolute great season for both teams. Whatever team won this game had a chance to go to the national championship, and that's still a possibility to commit, depending on the outcome of tonight's games. But, man, it, uh, it was a crazy game. Um, a couple calls I didn't agree with. I mean, we all think... Uh, we all know the Doyle Green Beckham touchdown pass was not an actual touchdown and hit the ground, but there's a couple calls that Auburn got that that went their way that definitely made up for it, which is right because that was bad luck that they called that a touchdown. But man, I was so shocked at how unstoppable this running attack was. I mean, Yale yeah, was good against Alabama, but this good, I I never would expect it. I thought Missouri had the right setup in their front seven to stop this team. And it was not. Every time they went to a three-man front, it was a, a at least a 20-yard gain. I don't know why they kept doing that. Pretty, pretty ridiculous. But there was also some calls that Gary Pinkle made that Pinkle made that I did not agree with. Uh, some like that last call on fourth and one. Why? Why? Uh, just a list. I can't think of the top of my head. But there's a lot of calls I disagree with with Gary Pinkle. A lot that I think he like the the biggest thing I could remember, which I would never understand a questionable call they convert on a third and thirteen they call it a first down, and it's, it was it, they go back and watch the replay and it's clearly not a first down but you have there's about twenty five seconds left on the clock when you go up to to call the play or you're at the line of scrimmage and it goes down to nine seconds left and they still hadn't called in the replay booth and James Franklin's just calmly just calling audibles doing whatever. And they reverse the play, and um, it, they had to punt. And that's that, that's I think more on the coaching staff than it is the players, because the coaching staff very easily could have called in and say, "Hey, 
snap the ball as soon as you can because that's a question of call because that's that's something I would never understand. It happens all across college football and that was absolutely ridiculous. But man, this uh this Auburn team looks it didn't take any insane plays today, it didn't take any last second antics, but they played lights out and I mean, defensively it doesn't matter right now. But but uh offensively I don't think anybody in the country can stop Auburn right now. Uh, Florida State, Ohio State, if I'm one of the two, I'd be scared out of my mind to be able to stop this Auburn team because it looks like nobody. They'll get better and better each and every week. It, it They cannot be slowed down. So, depending what happens, we'll know what, what's going to be the destination for Auburn tonight. But we'll have to, have to wait and see. But regardless of what happens, it's been a great season for Auburn. Congratulations for winning the SEC. Uh, nobody expected it mid, uh, before the season. So, congrats. You deserve it. And uh, go represent the state of Alabama well whatever bowl you play in. So catch you guys later. Roll time. Go Sox. Go Titans too. Let me know what you thought about this game in the comment section below. I'm going to go watch Duke and Florida State. Uh, until next time, guys. See you later. Peace.